I don't think this should be a labor issue, really, because everybody, you know, equal. I mean, we all we all got a job to do. Uh, the kids need a school, and I don't know why it, you know these, these people are putting you guys into it because you shouldn't even be involved. Three years ago, six more well, months is going to cost you more money. Why? why? Yeah. Why? Because that's the question. Well, why should we stop now? Wait a minute. 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 Wait Hey, I'm going to be a senior too. I'm 57 right now. Good for you. You know what I mean? I live in this town. You know what I mean? So what do you expect? Hey, well, if we wait, it's going to cost us more. But I'm saying it's not uh, we wait. It's your administration that's trying. No, it's not the administration. Who is it? Hey, it's everybody got involved in this issue. They tried to drive it. What's, what's your reaction to um, the board's recommendations? Oh, I think they're excellent. What else would you recommend if you could do so right now? Well, if they follow through with those two uh, suggestions, yeah, I shape. think we, we didn't want TBI either. It seems like a lot of the uh, taxpayers did not want TBI. Oh, in fact, we wanted the original architects, Jefferson, Jeter, and, no, Jefferson, Jeter, and Cole. Right, Jefferson, Jeter, and Cole, right. Yeah. And I'm, are you uh, in charge of the signatures or one of the people? No, I'm not involved with that. Oh, she was. <laughs> I would have signed it if it had been available, but I didn't see it. It seems like there was like 1,400 signatures, and I know that uh, Friday night Bob and I actually signed one on live TV, so it was pretty cool. Wonderful. And someone said, I don't know if you have any data for this, but for 1,400 people signing, and people were saying there's five other people that uh, did, or were afraid to sign. I don't think they did Westfield. If they'd done Westfield, they'd have a lot more. Have a lot more, right? Yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, Michael. Let me ask you a reaction to what you saw in there. Can you give us uh, your reaction? Sure. I saw a lot of uh, concerned uh, parents, community members that really want to do uh, the right thing for the Middletown public school system. How do you feel that will change um, in the future? Do you think that there uh, will be more meetings like this, or do you think what happens here tonight will actually happen? I, I think that there will be uh, definitely be, uh, more meetings in the future. I think people have really of this project uh, taken and really want to see it uh, um, come to fruition. The people really have articulated their concern. They want to see a high school that they voted on at the last bill properly. At, at, that what they approved at the last referendum, and I think um, our job and our goal is to help uh, push that forward and help support that any way we can. Wonderful. Thank you for talking to us. Oh, no, it's yeah. not going up. Yeah. Nothing else is going up. Just your stuff's going up. I think you have a steal. That's what you're saying. No, that's what you're saying. Yeah. You're saying that. You just told me that everything is not even going one, up. Not even one month, everything went up. You said everything's right. going up. And I said it's going up. You said, no, it's not going up. And that's why I was talking to the union. Really? Well, I was just talking to the union, man, and they're going up in arms. And they're saying it cost, it cost $15 million because it cost the steel, it cost the plywood and all that. Granted, I did, but it didn't go up in one month. It's one month they increased at fifteen million dollars. This I try to explain them, but you can't get it to their thick skull. They didn't communicate yeah. with us. We had no idea until last Monday. Well, that's what I'm saying. They fifteen million over. That's what I'm saying. They don't mean. Yeah, they they didn't communicate with us. They didn't get the the bid. Tomaso didn't get the bids that that we expected. I live in it too. Wait, well, let me get through talking. Our mayor, our mayor showed us down, our, our mayor say, showed us down the river three years ago when she got rid of Long Lane. It was a hundred million dollar project then, and now with the money is all there now. The salary was twice back then too. The labor price. Per package. I mean, it's just it's black and white. Or that they expect it. And we think it's because of their name and their what, everything that's gone down with their company. So you think that the upper administration's fault? That everything's been halted up? I'm saying I want Tommaso replaced by a different construction manager company. Management company. All right. Okay? It's the price of... All the materials and the cost of getting the material there. I'm retired. I'm a retired team. Uh, my pension hasn't gone up, and I've been retired for seven years. My pension will go up a dime. My Social Security don't go up. My medicine goes up every month. My uh, uh, so here's social a perfect example. You haven't gotten anything in three years, yeah. and the price of everything else is double. Yeah. Just our mayor. Do you live in our town? I do. Our mayor. 
sold us down the river. Yeah, no, I said it three, three years ago. Yeah. No, she did She had the obligation to get Long Lane School, and we could have put the school there, and it would have been up already. Five well, years ago, we take advantage. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here from Roy Krieger. Yeah. Observations on the money. Talk and talk. Well, what do you think? I mean, what are you happy with this? Uh, there oh, you yeah. um, Well, some want to get rid of the going back and forth on that and sure. see what happens. Sure. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. How do you feel about the reaction? Um, I'm listening to the board's response, and I'm happy with what they're responding right now and what their action they're planning on taking. Absolutely. It seemed like they, actually, they listened to the public, which seemed good. Uh, definitely. The public should be the taxpayers. Uh, it's nice to know that we're being heard. Uh, any other future recommendations you'd give them if you could go a step further with this? Um, actually, if you're listening to them right now, um, she's covering the bases. Um, there are amendments that they're making now to their own recommendations that are going to um, hopefully avoid this kind of issue in the future. Wonderful. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Also included in that was opening up the bid process to union and non-union uh, to all comers, which probably has upset some of the union membership. And I can sympathize with them and empathize with them, but our responsibility as members of the Board of Education is the education of the students and the new high school and the citizens of Middletown, and I think that's what we responded to tonight. And I'm very proud of the Board, because if you notice, there was a lot of byplay back and forth in terms of the uh, motions made and the amendments to it and a little readjusting here and there. And we worked very hard as a group, and I think we worked very well to, as a group tonight. And we clearly uh, came across as being, you know, uh, nonpartisan with regards to this project. Wonderful job, well done tonight. Thank you. And thank you. My <laughs> comment is, you know, that what it, you should not jeopardize the education right. of our children, and that was one of the reasons that I uh, did the petitions. And as I said in there, was only one name or one word had to come up to these people. Right. Uh, we didn't say the name, though. But we know uh, it, it reminds, didn't say that. Mamaso. I did not have to say the name. No, I know. I'm I mean, I just mentioned the petition sure. and what it was all $10 about. Ten dollars more for one uh, one night and one month. It went up fifteen million dollars. It's, it's three years since this man changed. Started. Yeah, but they made a contract that it was supposed to be at seventy nine point nine million, and now all of a sudden they put fifteen million dollars more for what reason? Three years later. I'm saying this was supposed to be met. The contact was signed and everything. Are you talking three years later? No. You don't want to pay any extra. Well, they, they don't, want to, don't want to pay extra, do we? So what are you going to do? Your steel's going up. What are you going to do? You get steel Ask your mayor. Because she heard Joe Sarah she out of here. It's done, though. I mean, huh? here we are. We're going yeah, with the job. But I'm saying it, it couldn't have been overdone because everybody's scared of the world. It's over now. Everybody's You're scared of the world. It's gone. It's over. That's Why is it over? Why is it over? What's going on? Because they sold that property. Long Lane, Long Lane. Quality High School. Um, several people spoke and stated that they would actually be willing to pay more and to go back to referendum if necessary to get more and that they were willing to... Um, wait, that the time factor, the idea of let's move quickly is not the priority. The priority is delivering a quality high school and taking the time to do whatever is necessary to get a quality high school. So I'm really proud of the residents of Middletown for um, speaking out in favor of a quality high school. I think that's one of the reasons why I live here, because I value education, and it's nice to see that so many people came out and spoke from the heart this evening. It seemed that the Board of Education was you know, pretty um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Sort of about getting rid of Tommaso. You must feel pretty strongly about that.